everyone. It's Anne from Anne Ellis Angels, and I'm here with your reading for the coming week. These are general readings, so take from them everything that resonates with you, leave behind anything else, but most importantly, enjoy a really positive week. I'll be using my teacup tarot deck, so let's get right on with your readings. So, Scorpio, let's have a look at your cards this week. So, from the teacup tarot deck, here we have. We have six cards for you, and your overall energy card here is the two of coins. Now, this is the card of choices and decisions, and wise choices and decisions. This card says as well, stay balanced. It's very much a card of thinking things through and making a balanced choice. You might have more than one choice to choose from this week. And this card says, think it all through with care and stay balanced as you do so. Your help or your hurdle, the eight of wands says, there might be an awful lot going on. Expect to get busy. Lots up in the air. Lots going on at once. You've got this. You might have to juggle lots of different things this week. But when you stay balanced and you stay focused, all will be well. This card also says delays are over. So if things have felt a little bit stuck or a little bit stale, not anymore. Your guidance here, the hermit says, it's time for you to lead by example and teach from experience. This is you shining your light in the world to help others, being that inspiration and that help for other people. How can we help ourselves? The Knight of Teacups comes in and says, stay balanced. Stay emotionally balanced. Now, it's the second card that says stay balanced this week. So just go steady. Just take it easy. Take a deep breath. Step back. Just tick things off the list once, one at a time. Pulling it all together, the Emperor card is one of you stepping up into this leadership role. This is about planning. This is about organising. This is about you getting everything in order. The emperor also shares these qualities with other people, showing them how to get organised, showing them how to plan and lead by example. So you've got two cards here that are very much about you in this leadership role sharing your knowledge, getting organised, making those plans. And here the six of coins is the universe. Here's pennies, pennies from heaven. Here's your opportunity. These are the gifts from the universe coming in for you. So it could be financial success. It could be a new job. It could be a new career, new area of study. Things that you've been hoping for coming into view. So looking at the teacup tarot cards overall, stay balanced, make wise and sensible choices, get your plans together, expect to be busy, lead by example, teach from experience, stepping up into this leadership role. And then here are the gifts from the universe and the success coming in to find you. So just to clarify with the Time to Shine deck. Here we are. So the Eight of Thought comes in and says, don't let any old habits of thought and negativity hold you back. This is about you having the self-belief and the self-confidence and moving forward towards positive new things. This card says, oh, yes, I can. And that needs to be your mantra this week. Leave behind all this negativity. Leave it where it is. You focus on you and what you can do. Pay attention to the small details. 
dot the I's, cross the T's, read the small print very carefully, read it twice, and then choose with care. We're talking about wise choices here. Be careful, take your time, stay balanced, make your decisions from a very cool, calm and collected mindset and choose the sunflower, not the cactus, because the success is here for you. This is four of action card, the card of you expressing gratitude. It's the card of happiness and joy. The five of emotion is about moving on from the past, leaving that where it is, acknowledging that it's being there for a purpose. It's made you who you are today. And this is about you moving on towards joy. And the final outcome card, the three of wisdom. This is about you getting busy, starting the new projects, working on those new ideas starting to put those plans into action. This is you making the plans. This is you putting them into action. So very much a week of you stepping up, leading by example. Lots going on, but making these quality, careful decisions with thought, with care. Making sure that all the tiny details are in place moving on from the past and here you are taking the action and here's the success following on from that. So I hope you've enjoyed the reading. If you have, click that subscribe button, it's free and then you'll get notified when I do the next one for you. So take care now and I'll see you soon.